Keep coming in, come on. You can come in into the room. Please come into the room. Give you sunglasses. Yeah. It's not yeah, quite a cheap one. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Thank you very much. Now we have some sunglasses. Who would like to uh, swap these sunglasses? What would you swap for these? Swap, swap. The initial idea for this work was to uh, conceive a piece which would sort of record the time of the exhibition uh, through objects or different items which are uh, in possession of the audience. Sometimes without even noticing that something is with them in the exhibition, in their pockets or in their bags. Because usually um, we feel that we have nothing with us in the exhibition, that it's only our body and, and, and uh, how we are dressed. But then if you would be requested to swap something, that you start sort of digging in your pockets or, or looking around you like what, what I have um, uh, without value or with the value, I could get rid of. Or I would be willing to swap for something what I don't really need, probably. Or just to be able spontaneously react on such a um, reaction of a performer, which is uh, addressed to you face to face in the room. So this uh, idea of time recording or uh, making a sort of a clock um, is based on um, endless chain of, of swap. So right from the beginning till the end of the show, these objects are circulating or almost like the time is passing by, so it never stops, only by the end of the exhibition. Swap of sunglasses. Need a little bit of clean. Do you want back here? Do you have sunnies? Do you have sunglasses? Yeah. Yeah. Want some more? <laughs> some more? <laughs> Would you like a different... No. Do you like these, these ones? No. Very strong crews. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. How about camera? Mm -hmm. uh, which? Candy. I think that particular piece of candy is a little <laughs> undervalued. For uh, I'm interested in um, this way to find a good balance between uh, sort of strict concept and also the boundaries, which are not not um, limited, which are also uh, open enough to through this durational process to be slightly modified or, or, or to get broken through uh, little mistakes or through improvisation or reactions of people which are unpredictable because you never know what's going to happen when you raise the question or when you start a certain process. So something what is um, probably in the hands of the performer once he thinks he has a control of the whole situation could be completely negated by a, a, a certain strange uh, reaction of someone who comes to the room. So a, everything evolves from this uh, um, coincidental situation within uh, a very uh, well um, organized uh, framework of the instruction of the performance. Come, in. Come all the way in, don't stand on the threshold. <laughs> Enter the room. Enter the spirit of swapping. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. You lucky people. They'll be curing you in another couple of days. Okay, we have a pair of sunglasses and we're going to swap them. Who will swap me a pair of sunglasses? A phone? Are you offering your phone? Two phones? No. I only need, need one object. Uh, one phone's fine. I need both. You need both phones? You have two phones? <laughs> Surely don't need two phones. I work in communications. I oh, need two yeah, well, yeah. It's not really about reactions. It's more about um, to what extent could um, a certain situation which I observe or which I um, find 
in real life, let's say, and I, I pick as a as a source for my work um, how this, if slightly modified or shifted to become something else, can coexist in the in the context of exhibition. So some something what might be just uh, a found situation or real situation from life with small modification and then uh, when reenacted as a performance in in the exhibition how much this can uh, still be an artwork so sometimes there is also a doubt whether this is not only a situation from life or it's an artwork so this uh, merging you know between or to finding this distinct distinction line between real and uh, staged is also in the core of my interest uh hello you're looking very dapper today if i may say so um is english okay yes sure yeah. oh. oh it looks good kill did you see that <laughs> <laughs> no nudes in here anyway <laughs> Of course, once I'm testing it, there is always uh, there is always a belief that it's gonna work, and uh, uh, I would say I'm more testing it before I really go out from with, with with such an idea. So. Uh, luckily, I'm happy that it's been always working, but I, I never can judge if this was a great artwork or not, but it was at least fulfilling my expectations uh, from the point of view of an artist. And then, of course, like with every artwork, it depends on uh, uh, the whole context of the time when it's being okay, presented. Okay, will we swap for those? <laughs> I don't have anything that I would like to exchange with you for those glasses. What? Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> There's always something. I think I have something. Your belt? No, 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 I have this. Wow. Is that, is that uh, have you used this? No, 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 I have not used this. Clean it on It's It's clean. It's very beautiful. Would you like to swap that? For the glasses? Sure. Okay. That's a great swap. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That, wow. That is a beautiful wow. handkerchief. That is a beautiful handkerchief. What, uh, what, what do you think you can swap for that? Who'll swap me something for this? I'm always trying to find, uh, to give this, uh, to give a certain space open for inclusion of people. So somehow, if I'm in that moment, when I'm offering the work to the public, I'm, I'm free enough to uh, accept any kind of um, feedback or, or any kind of uh, participatory uh, resonance. So either it's failing completely or it's uh, not working uh, fully to my expectations. It's it's the way I accept it. Look at this beautiful, this is a freshly laundered handkerchief. I prefer mine. You prefer yours? Yes. What else have you got? What about the scarf? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Why not? I love my scarf. What else have you got? It's a very big bag. <laughs> Moving this work from one cultural context to the other, like from UK to Germany and then to Australia and now to Switzerland, which is now new to me because this is completely a new experience. Uh, have brought really new, new perspectives in uh, interacting. Like for example, in Australia, it was much more popular. I have to say popular than in uh, Germany, let's say. And I hardly could say why, but people are queuing to get to the room. And uh, so there was something what. What is maybe part of this work that I can imagine that in some in some country it could be absolutely uh, missed or maybe misunderstood like what it is about? Do you like the handkerchief? Take a look. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, do you want to swap a beer for a handkerchief? Yeah, swap. Yeah, yeah. Is it new? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, not yet. 
Uh, you're done? No, I'm done. I couldn't okay. find it. Thank you, thank you. Great, thank you. That's a cold it's a, beer. It's a good one. Did this come from outside? Did you buy this? No. Oh, you didn't. This is free. Yeah. It's free. For you it's free, yeah. No, but was, did you pay for it? No, I'm working in a bar, so... That's <laughs> <laughs> you weren't free, but did you get it from the, from the exhibition? No, no. No, good. Okay, great. Thank you. You were great as well. Hey. Anyone thirsty? It's a cool beer. This beer is cold. They are, they are also, uh, can I have a bed? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hang around for a minute? <laughs> what are we going to swap for the beer? Anyone feel like a beer?